we're about to see is a spectacle unto itself. Let's enjoy. Another video we're back here it's been a while once again i got a lot going on okay a lot going on in my life right now uh so just trying to get everything together and when i get some time then i'll do these then i do these videos but anyway i'm, I'm glad to be back i know it's been about a week uh since i dropped the video but hey we're back baby and that's all you need to know 46 is here um in this video today i'm just going to go over the uh the nfc west uh, my predictions for that on the divisions and talk about the teams briefly and just what I believe and this is just my opinion So for those who disagree, you can comment down below. Okay, it's just my opinion on the teams Okay, and how I think it'll uh, how I think the divisions will end up. Okay, so Let me start with the worst team in the division in my opinion I, I think it's a lot of people's opinion, but the Seattle Seahawks um they just got rid of their best quarterback in the history of the Seahawks, uh, Super Bowl champion. I've uh, been to two Super Bowls, should have won both, both Super Bowls, but, uh, you know, I uh, just didn't get the ball to Marshawn Lynch. But uh, Russell Wilson's now in Denver, and, uh, you know, I'm sure he's he's happy to be out of Seattle. Uh, I mean, every year it seems like Seattle was, you know, Groundhog Day. They'd go to the playoffs, get, uh, get eliminated round one, you know, same thing every year, let Russ cook. <laughs> this and that let Russ cook he cooks and then he you know they lose in the first round of the playoffs and you're like all right well Seattle was good they're competitive but they're not that great of a team you know and now with Russ gone and they got Drew Locke as their quarterback now I don't have m many high hopes for you know or much high hopes for the Seattle Seahawks this year um I do think they drafted well and I think you know Pete Carroll will get a solid team down there and, and they'll have some games where they fight but overall, I just don't see the Seattle Seahawks being very good this year. Uh, I just, I, 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 I don't get, you know, I, I just don't think they have a lot of talent, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of the players that were good are gone, and it's it's a shame. But, you know, the Seahawks, we'll always remember them, you know, for in, in the near, in now, the now, in the near future for the Legion of Boom and the legacy that they had on the, uh, on the city of Seattle. But those days are long gone. This team is not as good anymore. And, you know, they, they did the right thing, though. You know, w you know, every year, you know, it seemed like they really weren't making much progress. They weren't getting better. And it's like, hey, we got to make a change here. You know, let's change. Let's trade our quarterback and get something in return or something, you know. Uh, you know, DK Metcalf is still a burner. He can play. Uh, you know, Tyler Lockett can play. So, you know, they, they have a lot of they have a lot of good, you know, a lot of good pieces, you could say. Uh on, on that side of the ball, you know, for the receivers. But other than that, I don't see much much they got going on. Noah Font, Noah Font's a good tight end. So maybe that trio can do something this year and have a productive season. But overall, the team, I just don't see them being very good. Okay. And uh, now third in the division. Uh, this is going to surprise people. I think it's going to be third. Uh, it's the Arizona Cardinals. Now everyone's going to say, why do you say that? You know, the 49ers, I think the Cardinals are better. Now on paper, yes, the Cardinals are better. But remember, Nuke Hopkins is out for a while. You know, him and his, he got caught with Osterine. For those of you don't, that don't know, Osterine is a steroid. And he got te he tested positive for that. Now, a few years ago, there was a college football team that tested positive for Osterine. And uh, that was Clemson. For those that don't know, Nuke Hopkins, he went to Clemson. So, you know, 
you know, where do you think he got the offspring from? You think he just he just randomly got it from somebody? No, I'm sure he knew somebody in Clemson and he got some offspring from him. You know, seems like a Clemson thing to do. But anyways, yeah, I, I I do think the Cardinals are a very good team. Uh, you know, I, I like Kyler Murray as a quarterback. I think he, you know, when it comes to like big pressure games, he kind of like lets he's a letdown. Like people have high expectations for him, but Kyler Murray is a very uh, rare talent, you know, a little smaller, you know, people say his, his uh, size really, uh, you know, uh, doesn't benefit him, you could say, you know, it kind of uh, hinders his ability. But overall, I think he's an electric player. You can tell he plays, ba he played baseball by his quick releases, you know, he's loosened here, there, here, 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 you know, he's very mobile and, and he has the best slide in uh, all of football. Have you ever seen him when, when he slides as a quarterback? Uh, it's pretty pretty exceptional. You know, you can tell he's played baseball for you know his whole life, and he could have gone, he could have gone to the league. He could have been the MLB by now, but he chose. He made the right choice for football for sure. Uh, but yeah, the defense they lose Chandler Jones. That's a big loss there. Uh, Chandler Jones is a great edge rusher. Uh, he's on the Raiders now. For those that don't know, but yeah, you lose him. Uh, I, I I I don't know you know much about their O line. I think their O line was somewhat decent. You know, running backs, you still got Kenyon, Kenyon Drake, I think. No, no, Ken, you don't have Kenyon Drake, my bad. But uh, you, you got, uh, you, you lost Chase Edmonds to the, uh, the Dolphins. You gained, uh, you still have the running back. He went to Pitt. Uh, well, I don't know why I can't lose his name. I'll get it back here and there. James Conner, you still have James Conner. So that's not bad. Uh, the defense is pretty solid, okay? Obviously, you lose Chandler Jones. It's a massive loss. Uh, Buda Baker's a great player, so you still have him. I just, I, I just see Cliff Kingsbury as your major weakness there. I'm not a big Cliff Kingsbury guy. Listen, I'm sure the guy is, you know, he's he's, he's hooking up with some dime dime pieces in Phoenix. You know, if you haven't seen his bachelor pad that he had uh, during the draft, it's unbelievable. This guy's basically like Ryan Gosling in the Notebook, you know, but. Uh, yeah, as far as the coach goes, I think he's fairly mediocre. Uh, I, I don't get the hype. This guy was a loser in college uh, at Texas Tech. And I understand Texas Tech is in a powerhouse, but still he couldn't build them up. And then if you can't win there, why? how are you going to win in the NFL? You know, so that's something that I, 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 just, don't, I just don't get at all. But I think Cliff Kingsbury is going to hold you back this year. I don't know if you'll reach your full potential this year. And I just see you coming in third in a very good division. Uh, you know, that's that. And coming in second in the division, I got the 49ers. Now, this is a team where people are saying that Jimmy G's going to lose his starting spot. Uh, I can't see that happening. Uh, just me personally, Jimmy G, you know, obviously he's not Pat Mahomes. He's not Josh Allen. He's not Aaron Rodgers. And he's damn sure not Tom Brady. Not Matt Stafford. Uh, I don't think he's as good as Kyler. I think you know, maybe Lamar is better. Uh, Dak Prescott might be better. Derek Carr. Um, I don't think Jimmy G's a great quarterback, but I think he does win. One thing about the guy, when he plays, he wins. You know, some guys have that it factor. You know, they have that 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 tangibility where, you know, they, they, they're they winners. And you can say, oh, he held them back in the Super Bowl. Oh, he held them back in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, but he was there. He was in the Super Bowl against Pat Mahomes. And they, they really had the game won, and they, they blew it. You know, he was in this game. He was in this game. So, uh, you know, you can say what you want. Trey Lance allegedly is not ready to start yet. So, you know, uh, the rumors I've seen, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, you know what the 49ers are going to get. You're going to get Kyle Shanahan, a great offensive play caller for the first three quarters of the game. Then the fourth quarter, he just forgets what to do. Uh, but, yeah, it's, they'll be competitive. Kittle, you got Debo Samuel coming back. You got the... Uh, the, the, the running back, 25. Uh, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank with his name, but uh, he's a great, he, he's a good back. You know, the 49ers, they rotate those backs, you know, like they'll have like one guy get the carries here, 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 and then they kind of go with the hot hand. Uh, but I got some, you know, pretty solid players there. Uh, Brandon Ayuk's a good receiver. So the Niners, and they got that defense, which is scary, I'll tell you right now. And if uh, Javon Kinlaw can, you know, get going, then the D-line will be, an absolute force okay so i have them at second in the division people might have the cardinals ahead of them personally i just don't see it i think the 49ers are here to play this year and i think they'll be back making another playoff run um first in the division the defending super bowl champs the la rams uh this team apparently has no salary cap uh they just sign whoever they want to sign and the league just looks at it and just goes ah yeah 
all right, the Rams got that guy. Okay, because they're giving like max deals to Stafford, max deals to Ramsey, max deals to Aaron Donald. It's like, how do you pay the rest of your players? You know, they just signed Allen Robinson to a big deal. Uh, I don't know what Cooper Cup, I think uh, he's still, I don't know if he's on his rookie deal still, but you know, you're paying these guys all this money. How do you pay the rest of your team and your draft picks? Oh, they don't have draft picks. I forgot. Uh, Les Snead said, F those picks. So they don't have those picks anymore. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't know how they do it. I, I really don't. Uh, but you know, hey, the Rams get it done. Uh, they're gonna win this year. I was not a big Stafford guy. Uh, my friend Aaron Blackman was a massive Stafford fan. He loved Stafford, and we had an argument uh, like two years ago. I said if Stafford and Goff traded places, that you won't see much change. Well, I was completely wrong there. That's the only thing Aaron Blackman's ever gotten right in my time of knowing him uh, was Matt Stafford, you know, just being this electric quarterback that he turned out to be. And I, I, I just, you know, I got to give my hats off to Aaron Blackman. Okay, you, you, you know what you're doing, Blackman. You, you know what you're doing in, in this situation. But yeah, I was never a big Stafford guy. And uh, he proved me wrong. And I mean, the guy's always had elite arm talent. I just thought he was a, a, a loser. You know, the guy, the guy lost at Georgia, you know, had this great team, never won anything there. Uh, lost in the Little League World Series, you know, uh, lost in high school. So I, I, I was just never on the Stafford train. Uh, but obviously, I've been proven wrong many, 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 many times this past year by Matt Stafford. So that's my take. Got the Rams coming in first, followed by the Niners, the Cardinals, and then the Seahawks at fourth. Now, I do think that the Cardinals and the Niners can sneak into the playoffs. I think it's very doable for them. Uh, you know, well, the Niners, I think they'll get in, but the, the Cardinals could sneak in. I could see that happening. You know, uh, there's a lot of, uh, the, 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 the NFC is not strong, you know, uh, it's just not a strong conference this year. I think the AFC is more loaded with, uh, quality teams. I could, you know, the Cardinals, although they come in third, they could get in the playoffs. I don't know what they'll do in the playoffs, but I think they could get in. Uh, anyways, what do you guys think about this division? Uh, you know, I think it's the Rams division uh, by far, and I think the Niners and Cardinals are going to fight for that second and third spot. The Seahawks, I can't see them coming anywhere but last. Uh, but the viewers who do view this show, uh, what do you think, uh, you know, the, the order should be in the divisions? And, and what do you see from playoff teams in this division? Uh, just, just let me know. Uh, comment down below. Like the video. And uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Anyways, uh, I got to head out. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, the summer's getting wrapped up. And, uh, you know, it's almost that time to, you know, get ready for the school year if you're going to college. Or, you know, for me, I actually just got a teaching job. So I got to go and, uh, you know, I got to get ready for that. So, anyways, you guys have a great day. I'm out.